The next thing I want to look at then is of course pagination. This is really important when we come to displaying multiple articles on screen. So outside of our main block, I want to display a pagination block. This is simpler than you may think. And all we need to do is bind to pagination. Let's save the file and refresh the page. You can then see that we have page one of three and we get access to this older posts. If we select all the posts, we then get the three separate posts here. And then we can select it once more to finally get the final post of page three out of three. Now you'll be happy to know that we can actually override this. We're not limited to this styling. So if we wanted to add our own styling to the pagination block, we totally can. And this is something we're going to look at as we add a custom CSS framework to our theme. At this point, it's really important that you get to grips with actually using things like for each and understanding why these templates exist. When we're binding to a template here, this is a template that Ghost has given us. If we want to create our own template, we can override that by making our own pagination.handlebars file. We'll look at that in the future lectures, but for now, I want to make it so we can select a post. 